In this video, we will learn about alignment of cell content. So the alignment settings are available here in this area in the home ribbon. And if you'd like to have more control, you can also click in the small arrow or use the shortcut control plus one to open up the format cells dialog box with where you have a specific tab for alignment settings. And before we get into the details or the advanced settings, let's just look at what's readily available here in the home ribbon. As always, the home, home ribbon has the most often needed options that you have in any of the settings. In order to illustrate this, let me just expand the row height of row number one. Now let's see how these options will change the display. And let's start with the left top align. This would align the cell's content to the top edge or the top border here. Now let's say I want to do the bottom, so I would apply the bottom align and that will move the cell's content to the bottom border. And if I want it to be in the middle, I can just choose middle align and that will keep it in the middle. And similarly, horizontally, I can choose the right align, which will move the content to the right edge and left align or keep it in the middle. So this is basically to control where your cell's content will display within the cell. And you can also change the orientation of your cell by using this orientation option here to see if you would like to show your information oriented in a different direction. And this is sometimes used, but I don't use it that often. And it is just available if you have the need and these things might be sometimes useful where you want to display the data in a vertical context. For example, if I drag it, you will see that I can see the text information displayed vertically, and I can also change it to rotate this way. This is something which I've used sometimes, and I work with a lot of data in Excel, and you can control if you would like to change it to rotate the other way, you can also do that. And you can control this alignment again, going into the dialog box, and you can change the orientation here to any specific angle that you would like the information to be displayed and you have total control over it. So for my purpose now, I'm gonna just bring it back to where it was before. So now I can bring it back by deselecting this option, rotating text down, and this will bring me back to the default and I can just auto fit this row to bring me back to where I was. So the basic takeaway there is you can control specific location or alignment where the cell's content will be displayed inside the cell. You can also change the orientation or the different angles and also change how the text will be displayed, whether normally or rotated one way or the other. And you have more control if you go in the format cells dialog box to control the orientation as well. And you can also use this drop-down menu to do the controlling, to control the alignment. Um, and if you open this, you will see that there are more options than what you saw here in the home ribbon but that is something which you can play with to get more familiar if you have special needs in how to align the text. But these options should be more than enough in most occasions for you when you're dealing with Excel. The other couple of things that I wanna talk about here are the controls that you have here, which are around wrap text and also the merging and centering. So let's talk about wrap text first you can use this dialog box and select this check checkbox here, or you can just click here on the home ribbon. So before I do that, let's see which cell we wanna apply this to. For example, this cell here is pretty wide or pretty long with two outer names. And so let's say I want to reduce the width of this column here. And now I can't see the entire set of author names and in order for me to do that one of the options i have is to do a wrap text and let's see what happens when i select that what excel does is it's wrapping up the content of the cell within the width it has in this column 
So, and it'll take care of the spaces. So it, you won't have a word being split, but it will wrap it up in such a way that the row will become taller and the row height will change, but you will be able to see all the content in that cell. And this is something which wrap text will do. And you can also select multiple cells and then do the wrap text as well. Or you can select the entire column and then do the wrap text. So let's say for now, I want to go back and remove the wrap text from all of these cells and I click them, click it again. This is just a toggle. So if I click it again, it will switch it on. If I click again, it will go back. And let's learn another interesting option you have here. And if I go back to my format cells dialog box, this is kind of hidden, but this is called the shrink to fit. And if I select this, what Excel will do is actually change the size or the look of the cell so that it fits within the width of the column. And this is another method so that you can view the entire content of the cell, whether it's long or not. And this is something that is available to you when you're dealing with content, which is longer. And now let me undo that and change my width of the column back to the original. And the, the other option that you have is about decreasing or increasing the indent. And let's look at it. So for example, if I have the column A's width increased, and if I would like to have the content here in row cell A3, change a little bit in terms of position so I can apply this indent to move in specific units to the right or if I want to go back I can use the alignment decrease indent option to move it. So this gives you more control in exactly where the cells content is displayed compared to these options we had here these six options they will just move you to the edge or to the center but you don't have fine control over it but these two setting options will help you to specifically locate or position the content of your cell now i'm going to auto fit this column to bring us back to the original and the last option or the last set of options that we have in the alignment area is about merging and centering and what this is about is if i go and open this dialog box you will see that there is a checkbox here where i can select and merge cells together and for example if i have only the title here and i'm not going to have anything else here it might actually look better if i select these five cells and then i would like to combine them into just one cell so that i can display the title across this set of cells in order to do so I can just go and click merge and center and what this is doing is all the five cells have now been combined into one cell if I click here or here or here it's just going to select one and it's just a one there's no b1 c1 d1 and e1 clearly visible to you anymore and that's because excel has combined them into one and also, since we said merge and center, Excel was able to merge them. And now the, the cells content here, the Inzara bookstore books is actually displayed in the center. If you look at it positionally, I mean, it's in the middle of this new cell, large cell from a horizontal perspective. And so it's merged it and centered it.